Christian that uh, truly is called to God's being. God's presence. You must face challenges. Rejection. Tribulation. Suffering. To extend that people you trust, they have to reject you. Have you ever reached a level where you find that? People you have helped rejecting you. How is your response to that? It matters. If you have courage, you are able to get up again and move forward. I found that 99 percent in this world who are Christians. They've been affected. Reaffected. Discouraged everywhere. One of the things that has made people to be discouraged, we didn't ask God. That's the thing that, you know, has really bothered. We didn't ask God. If you know, if you ask God, you will understand that God wants you to be in this position. Because there are, there are things that you can't change in prayer. Is it not true? Eh? You are supposed to go through that. Your prayers can change everything. If your prayers can change everything, can you change your size? Can you just change your surname? Eh? You know, if you want to see that you can't change yourself, I will give you an example. If now you can pretend here to be a closer when you are a vendor. Eh? But if we take you aside, we beat you up. Beat you. When you are feeling pain now, the reality of you will come. You will stop, you will stop tetting because you will, from there you just say, Ma we bakombura ya ba. There are some things you can't change. I don't, I don't know if you are, you, are, you are hearing me. Are you hearing what I'm trying to say? I'll give you something that, you know, maybe it will bother you, but it must not bother you. Not long, I found that 99.9% out of 100 of pastors, apostles, prophets, pastors, Every, those who are called fivefold ministry, they've got too much problems. Too much problems. And uh, you know, many of them they come and pray for you, but you don't pray for them. And uh, sometimes Christianity, to be a pastor, people are taking it easy. Like, you know, I can be a pastor. I have. I have a private jet or whatever, or a car or a house. No, it's impossible. It's impossible to have that. It's so impossible. It takes the grace of God. For those who have it, it's the grace of God for them. Because many people are suffering. Pastoring is it's, it's not a chance for, because you are facing Satan. You are, you, are, you are saying, Satan, I want to show you that Jesus is alive. And Satan say, even me, I will show you. <laughs> and many people who are in the church today, you know, all, many of them, you find that 70% belong to Satan, 30% are Christians. So now you want to, you want to show by 30% now. You want to show by 30%. Pastoring has never been an easy thing. You'll be surprised. A church is having 10,000, but three people are Christians. I'm telling you the truth now. Three people are going to heaven. This 10,000. Another one, this one is live with this one. This one is doing this. That one is, I mean, I mean, everybody is doing this. And you find three people going to heaven. That's why God does not look at majority. He look at your heart. So, 
You people, you must pray for pastors and support them. Because, okay, for example now, I can tell you. I can tell you now. Tribulation does not come to you. It passes your pastor first. I want to tell you something you don't know. Tribulation, suffering, whatever. Before you express that suffering, pastor is already experiencing. That's why pastor will be able to pray for you. Because he has experienced it before you experience it. Look here. What will take a pastor to pray for you is his courage. Pastor, when he prayed for you, is the courage that God gave him. I don't know if you're hearing me. The courage that, I mean, after this suffering, I mean, you know there's no food at all. You know, I can give you an example of how these pastors are going through. I can give you an example. Pastors, they pray for you, pray for you, pray for you. You are blessed. After you are blessed, the people at home, they who don't even mind about you. They know you are blessed. Now they begin to call you. Hello. Hello. Uh, don't forget. We have got a church of home. Be blessed. Holy day. You are going driving like this. You are going driving. They don't know where the car comes from. What is coming from. The grace of that man of God has worked on you. After that, when you are sitting now, you'll be looking at the time. The messages are entering on your phone. How are you? Is it raining there? You are in the church. And these are the people who never even mind about you. You can't even hear that pastor who prayed for you now. From there, you move away boom, to a church that they want you to be. Whether they are the ones who are wishing you or what, you don't know. But because you are a celebrity of home, they will make sure that you become zero. They will attach to you and come close to you. You are not close to your pastor. You will become close to them. When you are suffering, you are close to your pastor. When you are blessed, you are close to the family. That's what we know. And that is why many people today, they are suffering now. After God entrusted them with something, they leave the church, they join another one, just like that. Now they are poor now. Because sometimes God will leave you to be poor for the sake of saving your life. Because once he blesses you, you don't mind about this man or God. You don't pray now. You can't go there. The seed you will see, you will see the, the offering. Now, your car, Limpopo. Limpopo Mananda on the road. The day you get an accident is then now. You don't have a way back to ask pastor for prayer because you have rejected him there. These pastors, they pray for you, pray for you, you are blessed, you forget them. Pastors, there are people that people forget them. I'm not surprised. Even Joseph faced the same. He interpreted a vision to the people who were in prison. When this one came out, two years, he forget him. When problems start to rise, you say, ah, I forget. There's another man that side. Even you, some of you here, you are back because you, you remember now. Because of the pain you are going through. If there was no pain, you would not come to church. Pastors are suffering. If we can ask many pastors here, they are very much suffering. You are prayed for. Look here, you are prayed for each other. You pray for a siblings, faith mission, everywhere. Even when you are blessed, you don't know what you were prayed for. This is what is happening to you. You lack courage. You can't stay in the church today. You can't be a member today. You can't be a member and say, I want to support the work of God. And God entrusts you with riches to support the men of God. 